Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing my night routine, specifically my Sunday night routine. I'm gonna show you how I get ready for the week, how I wind down, how I prevent my Sunday scaries, and just everything I do to help set myself up for a successful week. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into my night routine. So we're gonna begin my nighttime routine after dinner. So after dinner, I clean up, I wash the dishes, load up the dishwasher for the night, and kinda just tidy up, clean up the kitchen from all of the cooking mess of the day. And then after dinner, I take these supplements. I've talked about them before. These are the JS Health Detox and De-Bloat, also the Metabolism and Sugar Support supplements. These help with de-bloating, help with you know sugar regulation and all that. So I take these twice a day after meals. And I usually just do kind of a quick clean. I don't do any deep cleaning, but I usually will just always wipe down the counters. I'll wipe down the dining table and pretty much just anywhere that there are little food stains or anything. Um, I usually do deep cleaning once a week. I did a few days prior to this, so I just kind of spot clean throughout the week and every night. And then I go ahead and close all of the blinds up for the nighttime. As well as turn on all of my low lights. So I love this lamp in the living room. And then I'm gonna just pick up in the living room. I try to clean throughout the day, but of course things pile up and I just go ahead and pick up everything that was messy in the living room. I pick up the couch a little bit. I don't have to fluff up this couch too much, but I am a perfectionist and I just want it to look perfect all the time. But fluffing this couch all the time is not necessary. And yeah, I have a bunch of low lights around the house. I'm very big on low lights. I just like to set the mood, make it very cozy. And so I have this sun light here and then my little mushroom lamp, which I'm so obsessed with. And I don't like to have any of the overhead lights on. So I go ahead and turn all those off and of course set the mood by lighting candles everywhere. This is my new favorite candle from Diptyque. And I love my LED candles on the TV stand. They look so realistic. I'm just finishing up my laundry. I do my laundry pretty much every Sunday. So I had one more load left to fold. A tip that I have with folding laundry is to try to do it multiple times a week. I know doing laundry is not fun, but instead of letting it all pile up, I try to break it up like twice a week, do like smaller loads so that I'm not overwhelmed with all the folding and all the putting away. This is like the least favorite chore I have is doing laundry. I'm also watching TV, which is why I keep looking up. I have Modern Family on currently. It's like my go-to show whenever I'm cleaning or doing chores. And then I'm gonna get into my skincare routine. I did take a body shower, so I'm going to cleanse my face and I've talked about all of these products before, so I won't be repetitive, but also I wanted to mention, I love these little wrist towels. It helps to prevent the water from falling down your wrists and making your arms all wet. And then I'm also going to be doing a steamer just to open up my pores, because I wanna do a face mask tonight. So I love the steamer, it feels so warm. 
and this is the mask I'm using tonight, the Super Clay Clear Power Mask from Youth to the People. I left this on for 10 minutes, I let it dry, and then I rinsed it all off and continued with the rest of my skincare routine. I just put on my pajamas for the night. I love these pajamas. They're so comfy and soft. And these are the body products I'm using. As you can tell, I'm a very big fan of Sol de Janeiro. I'm using the Bum Bum Cream, the Bum Bum Body Firming Oil. I love these products because they're supposed to be firming for the skin. And then also the body spray. This is the pistachio and salted caramel. It smells so sweet and so good. And I like to drink peppermint tea every night to soothe my stomach, so I'm just boiling some water in the teapot. And since it's Sunday fun day, I wanted to make a little treat, so I'm gonna bake some cinnamon rolls. Did you guys see the way I jumped when it popped? I hate when these things pop, I get so scared. While the water is boiling and the cinnamon rolls are baking, I'm gonna prepare my overnight oats. This is one of my favorite breakfasts because it, first of all, tastes so good. It's nutritious, it's filling, and it's so nice to wake up in the morning and have your breakfast ready to go. This is also great for if you go to work early in the morning and you don't have time to prep or eat breakfast. You can just grab this from your fridge and eat it at work. So I make my overnight oats different every time, but for the most part I use oats and some sort of milk and I do half and half portion of each. And this time I'm adding some almonds, coconut, chia seeds, honey, blueberries, but sometimes I like to add peanut butter or strawberries. I like to change it up, but this is just the way I'm making it tonight and it's really delicious. You can either heat this up in the morning for a hot meal or you can just eat it as is. I prefer to eat it as is. I think it tastes really good cold. with my little tea organizer. This is linked in my Amazon storefront. I have a lot of different teas, but for the most part, I just drink peppermint tea because that's the only tea that really helps my stomach like settle and digest the food properly. It's so satisfying seeing the icing melting on the cinnamon rolls, so that's why I fast forwarded this part so you guys can see how it's just oozing over the cinnamon rolls. And it's also a really nice treat to have with my tea, so I'm gonna just eat one drink my tea, hop on over to the living room couch.
and cozy up and watch Beef on Netflix. If you guys have not watched this show, please, please watch this show. It is so good. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you like comedy, mystery, thriller, chaotic, it's very chaotic. It's like very all over the place but it is just such a good show. So I'm done with the show now, but I was binging it for the last two days and I finally finished it this night. So I was watching the last episode here on the vlog, but oh my God, please watch it. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill on the couch. This is what I do every night. This also helps prevent my Sunday scaries is watching a show that I like, drinking my tea. I feel a sense of peace and calmness and I just love laying on this couch with this big old blanket that my mom got me from Costco. I love this blanket. So after I finished my show, I cleaned up the living room, folded my blanket, just made sure the living room was nice and tidy. I love to wake up in the morning to a nice and tidy looking living room and kitchen. It makes me feel very happy and it makes me feel like I can go about my day and be very successful. So we're gonna just turn off all of my low lights and I'm gonna put the rest of the dishes that I used for tea and the cinnamon rolls in the dishwasher and I will turn on the dishwasher. And then another thing that I take every day before I go to bed is this liquid nighttime mineral from Mary Ruth's. This does not have any melatonin. I cannot have melatonin. I've had bad experiences with it. So this is a great alternative to uh, help support sleep, less stress, relaxation. It really has helped me fall asleep faster because I have a problem falling asleep and it helps me to sleep throughout the night uninterrupted, sleep the full straight like seven to eight hours without waking up. So then I'm gonna just wind down, get ready for bed, brush my teeth. I always have to turn on my air purifier. I love this thing because I just feel like it makes the air feel cleaner and also I love the white noise. And then I'm going to take down the bed. and spray my deep pillow spray. It smells like lavender. Lavender is known to help you sleep better and faster and I just love the smell. And I'm just gonna read for a little bit. I've been so bad at reading. I try to read a little bit here and there, like a chapter or two every night, just to also help relax my mind. Reading helps you get sleepy. Uh, it helps you calm down. It's way better than looking at your phone right before bed. So I set my phone to do not disturb. I made a personal one for me time. And then I'll just read for like maybe 30 minutes or an hour whenever I get really sleepy. And that's it guys, that's my night routine, my Sunday night spring routine. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll link the things that I mentioned in my description, but that's all for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.